Hey, tubers. It's been a while since I came at you. I've got a, a fan here today I'm gonna, going to review. It's a Home Depot Siege review. This is a revent fan. Okay. It's a, it's a fan that actually sensors condensation in your bathroom. So, I mean, if you live in the desert or something, that's not something you really worry about. But you may worry about it if you got a kid that takes a shower for like an hour or two, which I've seen done. Uh, this thing will sensor the condensation and turn on so you don't get uh, too much moisture in your bathrooms. It's a simple mount. It comes with all the hardware. Okay. New construction hardware. And usually when I uh, I install one, I just look for the support up top on the ceiling and just cut right next to it. So you can use that to support to help you mount this mount this fan. There's also tabs on the bottom. Usually what I try to do, I mean even if you can go up in the attic and get access and then you can put extra 2x4s up there that you can mount this to. But once this thing is in place, it's got tabs on it to fold over so you can screw them up for extra support. The tabs actually have to be bent over after you install it because there, there are spots in between this is the frame that goes onto it, and then this is your lens for the light. And there's a, a little gap in between there, as you can see right here, where the air flows through. So you want to make sure you have that gap in there so the fan does its job. It comes with, underneath the lens box, there's a full instruction. I mean, it's pretty thick, but it's got like you know, five languages in it. So just look for the English and they'll tell you how to go. This is a template. It's actually pretty cool. It's like cardboard. But this template you could put up on the ceiling after you make sure there's no supports there, two by fours, and just cut out the square of this template. It also comes with its own switch. Now this is the part that has the moisture sensor in it. So if you have moisture as a problem and you're buying this fan for that purpose, you want to make sure you use this switch. Okay. It also has a light on it to tell you when the fan is activated because the fan is actually so quiet. Now what I've done, just to show you the difference between your average bathroom fan from the past and this fan okay this fan actually has I don't know if you could see it the lights kind of weird this has what I call a squirrel cage it's like an air conditioner or heater fan to blow a lot of air okay instead of having one of those windy fans from you know the 70s this has this actually throws a lot more air or pulls a lot more air than one of those little fans. And believe it or not, it's really quiet. Now don't, you know, do this at home. I've only done it for, for demonstration purposes. I've just wired it to this cord. Um, I'm gonna plug it in just to show you and I'll stick this right up to it. Okay, it's, I mean, if that's in your ceiling, that's pretty quiet, okay? Oh, also, there's a piece of tape on here to hold the flapper. That's why it was making more noise. So you want to make sure you take that tape off. So you can, you can hardly hear that fan. If it's up in the ceiling, you're not going to hear it. Okay, and you can see the flappers out, all right? So it's actually blowing. It's 
it's actually blowing this box over here. Okay. Let me get you a. So it's blowing pretty hard. Okay, it's standing this plastic bag straight up. Okay, so it is, you know, a uh, pretty strong fan. Now, like I said, see, you can't hear that. That's amazing to me. Because when you're in the bathroom and you're doing your business, all you, you don't want to hear that, you know, like an airplane taking off. So I like these just for that reason. And also, like I said, it's got a light to let you know it's on because you can easily see, you know, hear that, you know, you could leave that run forever uh, without it even knowing it's on. So it does have a light on the switch. That's why it's important to use the switch with this fan, okay? It has wiring. Everything is explained to you. It actually has Okay, if you have one of those funny little things for your phone, it'll take you you just uh, Take a picture of that and it'll take you to the website and it, it has an instructional video on how to install this thing So I'm going to rate it you know, 100%. Anybody putting in a new house or something, I think these fans should be in all your bathrooms. Actually, some, you know, I, I would even think about, you know, some of the lights are so nice and all. You know, sticking one in your kitchen, they make them, you know, this is just the, this is just the 50, but they even make bigger ones at 70 and 80. And you could use them in any room, really, where you have ventilation as a problem. But in the kitchen, you know, besides having your fan over your stove, you could even have an alternate fan, which sucks everything out. And believe me, these fans do a way better job than those little windy, windy fans that look like airplane propellers. So, I'm going to give it a heads up, 100%, or thumbs up, rather. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, guys. Thanks for coming and watching my videos. It's nothing really exciting today. No snow yet. Colorado got all the snow. But uh, we're waiting on snow. And like and subscribe. I, got, I also have uh, another video in my list of uh, actually a, the bigger fan. So if you want to go there and check that out, that's cool too. Okay? Like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. This is Mr. Fix-It. I'm out of here.